I'm M Minor here at MXCC. After a long semester of working hard in classes, MXCC students are facing a stressful time approaching, finals week. We sat down and talked to some students about their studying habits. Um, some good studying habits for studying for finals would definitely be, uh, definitely don't procrastinate. Procrastinating will not get you anywhere. The more you procrastinate, the more you won't learn anything, the more you won't even try. And you're just going to be wanting to do everything else except doing what you're supposed to do, which is studying, of course. And um, so something that personally I do is I would, I would make sure to write everything down in a planner. And I would make sure, like, to have everything that I ha that I need to have done down. I study for finals by taking notes because I seem to remember things better when I write about them. So that's what I do. What I do is I take notes, and then as the test gets closer, I rewrite everything that I don't remember. And then I'll take those, and I'll go through and highlight them in different colors. And as the test gets even closer, I'll have more colors that I look at more um, besides the other things, because I feel that those questions are going to be on the test, and those are the most important things that I need to know. Try studying in a group. As long as people aren't distracting and stay focused, it will give you good study time, and maybe you'll learn something you didn't know before. Something students should not do is procrastinate, of course, because that's not going to get you anywhere. Um, Something you can also do is, well, something that you shouldn't also do is um, you should definitely not do it the night before. Doing it the night before will only lead to much more stress, only lead to you rethinking your choices. They shouldn't just give up and think, oh, like, I'm not good at studying and that's it and procrastinate and not do anything. They should like look for a way that's good for them and a way to study that will work for them. And if they're having trouble, they can ask a teacher, they can ask someone else, and just try your hardest to do well. So you don't have to retake the class. Students should not procrastinate. That's like the number one thing. Um, because I do, and with the subjects I do procrastinate on, I end up freaking out, and then I have to... I, it's just a mess. Just don't do it. You don't even have to do it all in one sitting just definitely like take different days and keep going learning little bits of information and if you do it like some people I know some people do it right before class <laughs> no that's that's not gonna work out that's definitely not gonna work out I do feel prepared for my finals I usually study a little later on closer to the test so I'm not 100% sure right now but I'm sure that I will do fine I do not feel prepared for my finals <laughs> Do I feel prepared for my finals? Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't really have too many like big finals. They're just more like projects, if anything. I'm really just working on projects, and I have a few. Like I have an essay to write, which really is no big deal. And the only one I'm really worried about is my natural disasters because that class is very hard. Remember to study and go luck to the MXCC students on their final exams. I'm M Minor, back to you. So this is what it's come to. Alright, let's do this interview. Alright, let's do this interview. Let's do it. Christmas. I want a girlfriend. Ask for something else. I want a toy. I want a helicopter. Alright, it's doable. <laughs> People are making flashcards, especially with science and math classes. What you want to do is write um, vocabulary and um, definitions. Um, so you practice with a friend, da da da, you know your stuff, you're good to go. I was about to say, I know you're talking full of shit right now. That was a good take.